All right, our first Roblox Jailbreak update of 2022 is finally out, which is our January mid-seasonal update. It's kind of a smaller update, I would say, more, more on the medium side, I'll be honest. But this update is packing a lot of good stuff we're gonna go check out here in a minute. So yeah, we got our museum revamp. Like last update, we got our jewelry store revamp, and after like two years, we were finally getting a different looking museum. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out everything. So let's start off with a new mobile phone that you could get if you own the Swap Pass. Yeah, obviously you do have to purchase the Swap Pass. It costs like 300 Robux in order to get this. Actually, scratch that. For some reason, the Swap Pass is now 400. I know they changed this a long time ago, but that's kind of stupid. Because even at 300 Robux, I feel like this Swap Pass just was not worth it. No one ever used the items. Anywho, you could just get this item at either of the police bases. You could, of course, get it at the main police station here at the city. And obviously, you should be able to find it over here at the prison police station. Yeah, there it is over there. Anyways, basically how to use this item. It's pretty simple. It's basically how you use the security cameras from last time before we got this mobile phone. You, you just like use it at the police stations if you don't own the swap pass. But, but yeah, you could just like look at the security cameras like from anywhere. You can't like be in a vehicle or anything. You actually have to be like out of a vehicle. So honestly, I don't really see much people using this. I mean, this isn't really the most useful feature I'm, in my opinion, but I, I guess it's nice to have. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the new garage items we got in this update. So let's spawn, let's let's actually spawn the Classic. I mean, these two vehicles were, were retired, and yeah, you can no longer buy the Classic or the Airtail, which kind of sucks. Anyways, when you go over here to the rim section, you could buy the new Dino um, rim right here. I believe they're called the T-Rex rims or something like that, but you can buy it for 50,000 cash. Now, this is going to be limited for about like four weeks. So yeah, I'm basically a month. So yeah, you have some time time to get these um, like rims if you even played jailbreak at all anymore. I like them. They're kind of cool actually. I mean, yeah, there are better rims out there, but good. You can change the color of these as I thought. I mean, that should be pretty obvious, but some of the rims that we got, especially the seasonal rims, you there's no way to change the color of them. So anyways, we also did get a new soccer ball reward. So yeah, the soccer ball should, I think, spawn. Yeah, around here. I mean, it usually spawns around here, so no surprise on that, but I've already done the soccer ball challenge. As you can see, like if you go over here to spoiler, you should get the bonus. Yeah, the T-Rex bone spoiler right here. It, it looks pretty cool on pretty much every vehicle. Um, I like it. Now, in case you suck at the soccer ball challenge, just go go watch my video from like seven months ago or whenever I posted it because I, I just sh show everyone like the best way to complete the soccer ball challenge. I will admit though, like doing the soccer ball challenge now um, is a little bit harder than how you used to do it like six months ago or like a year ago because ever since we got like the um, part two to the knockable streetlights update, when you were able to like, you know, knock down like uh, traffic lights and like trees and stuff like that. Everything was pretty much collidable. So if you do it, at least the cyber truck way where you just like load the soccer ball onto the bed of the cyber truck and just like go backwards until you get up to the museum. You do have to make sure you like avoid the traffic signs in every tree you see. Otherwise, it's just gonna knock the ball off your truck. So you do wanna make sure um, you, you're like driving extra careful around like every object you see pretty much. But other than that, it's not too different from doing the soccer ball challenge. I mean, um, they did kind of extend the road up to the museum because the museum is a bit of a different shape it's like bigger and the parking lot's bigger so and up here at the new museum you can see that the soccer goalie is right there so yeah you could just plop the ball in there and then you get your prize yeah this update's basically a dinosaur update i couldn't help but notice i'm getting off topic so let's go ahead and check out the new nuke reward that you could get once you launch the nuke which is i believe the radiant ice i think that's what it's called but i am not 100 percent sure but i don't think i launched the nuke for like season six so i might be able to actually like launch the nuke this time like right now. Don't worry guys, if I do launch the nuke now and I and I have like no one in the server basically, I'll get you guys next time. I mean I'm almost done this season. It's probably gonna take me another week, but I'll be sure to like invite as much people as I can into my server and then I'll launch the nuke for you guys. So, but anyways I hope I could launch this. Alright, let's see what happens. All right, yep, there we go. Okay, go ahead, get in the heli. Yeah, nighttime is definitely the best time to do this because you could like see everything a little bit better, especially the nuke. There it is. Well, I guess not, but... All right, it's gonna launch, and there we go. Okay, yeah, we got the new nuke reward. Radiant ice, radioactive ice, whatever you want to call it. Let's spawn the beam hybrid. It's been like a year since this thing was added anyways, so... Um, let's take off our texture and put on the new body of color. All right, <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that actually looks really good. It's actually better than I thought. I, I thought it would just be, I thought it would just like glow so much that you can't even see the details on the car, but 
This is great. I want to compare it to the other skins. Okay, yeah, it's basically the same as the other skins when it comes to the glow, but yeah, this one's cool. I like it. Um, honestly, I'm always going to be a big fan of the classic radiant color, the radiant yellow, but yeah, this one is definitely really cool. Um, next nuke reward we need, we need a radiant red color. I think that should be the next uh, radiant color we should get. Um, we also need a purple and maybe a green, I'm not quite sure. And maybe a pink too, that, that wouldn't hurt. But And I just realized something, you could actually change the color of the dino bone spoiler. That's really cool, I thought you wouldn't be able to change the color of it. But Now let's just stop wasting our time and go check out the main course of this update, which is the revamped museum. So let's get a heli real quick. So before the museum opens, let's just admire the new look of this building. So it, it is a lot bigger than it used to be. It's like, like it literally feels like a gymnasium or like a football field like up here when you're just like standing around and good thing they put the boxer to spawn here for an escape vehicle like a getaway vehicle since the classic is not in this game anymore as you saw earlier the goalie is still here the parking lot is so much bigger than it used to be i don't know if this space is really necessary but and the boxer spawns in these two places for like a getaway vehicle right by each of the two doors we got on each side of the building so the museum should open around 3 p.m if you join a fresh server so the timing like when it opens when it closes and how long you have to wait before it opens again. That's not too different from what it used to be, so you don't really have to worry about that that often. But I will say you don't want to like dilly dally inside the museum too long, because this thing will still close pretty fast if you, if you like take too long to rob it. So works pretty much the same. I mean, slightly different sound there. Anyways, I don't mind robbing it again, but I'll just give a quick tour of the building. So obviously you come in from the top right there. Here's obviously where the lobby is, like where the T-Rex is, the big room. As you can see, there's so much more space in here. So T-Rex pretty much works the same. I mean, it gives it just gives you one out of 10 for each bone you grab. There's a new dino arm you could grab here for some reason. It looks like some kind of allosaur arm. It gives you another one kilogram. They still kept that Sphinx mask in the game. Um, and this, I believe, gives you like two. Yeah, it gives you two kilograms. And yes, I was kind of right last time. This is actually a dinosaur egg. So you could just grab this and it gives you two two kilograms. And they actually put one of these tomb cubes in there. That's kind of funny, but this one gives you, okay, it gives you like three. Now let's go ahead and rob it again because I want to fill my bag up with more of the items that are in here now. Honestly, down here, even with these like cameras or lasers, I think it's actually easier than the old one. I don't know. There's just like more room in here, I guess, to move around. All right, so the Simo painting gave me four, kind of like last time, and the Bad CC painting, I believe, is going to give me another four. Yep. Now, what I really do appreciate about this new museum is the Simo and Bad CC actually made like the puzzle areas more noticeable. So yeah, they're just like big rooms that kind of stick out like a sore thumb, you know. And these items right here obviously will give you like two kilograms. Yeah, same with that gem. Over over there you could also grab now this puzzle is very similar to the old puzzle yet like you have to make like the lines connect until it reaches over here it's pretty straightforward and simple i mean you, sh you should only be able to do this in like 10 seconds basically so obviously you still do need two people to pull the lever at the same time in order to escape there we go and we'll just turn in our money and yeah we still get the same amount of money as i expected i really do love this new radiant ice color it makes pretty much every vehicle look like some kind of futuristic cyberpunk like car or whatever all right let's go ahead and rob the museum again because why not and also i think i covered everything on the first floor and now let's move to the second story now these rooms are easier to get into than you think these paintings still give you about the same as they used to like four kilograms let's grab the jewel over here now this puzzle is also very similar to the older puzzle. Like all you have to do is just turn them until they line up with the line as you can see. These puzzles are very similar to the old one so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take that long to learn. And there we go, okay. Let's get out of here now. And cha-ching. Let's rob it a third time. This time with guns. And the planets just roll around. There we go, all the planets are down. Now I believe these give you, yeah, one kilogram. Just like the old museum, your anus. Mercury, Mercury is way oversized. I better not screw this up. All right, let's get in here. Obviously this is where like the giant donut, the fidget spinner, rim or whatever is all at, so. Hang on, will that actually like give me the hypno rim? I, I doubt it, but let me just try and get it. All right, let's see if I could grab this hypno rim. Gives me two out of two kilograms, and I did wish it actually gave me the actual item because I don't have it. Oh yeah, and I should also mention this jewel as well as the mummy give you uh, five kilograms, just like the old museum. So 
And it was, let's just go ahead, escape from here. Let's drive the Airtail, why not? It's one of the vehicles they retired for no particular reason. I miss this vehicle already. <laughs> A Simo. That's, that's cruel of you to, to just treat this vehicle that way. There was nothing wrong with this vehicle. The only reason why he really removed this is just so that concept car filled in a better niche than this for like a hyper sports car with like three or four seats, but. And almost forgot to mention there's a new code you could get this update at the ATMs, which is museum. You just type that in and it should give you 5K, um, and this is valid for the whole week. Anyways, before we end the video pretty soon here, I should also mention that we also got a revamped UI for the settings menu right here. So yeah, it pretty much has everything you could wish, plus a little bit more. You could now actually specifically decide like what volume you, you want the robbery music. You know, instead of going here. And right here is the VIP commands, and I'll do like a whole separate video of that because we'd be here all day, but... Overall, what do I think of this update? Well, this update is the first update for 2022, so I wouldn't expect it to be that big. I think this is a great start to this year, actually. I mean, for this update size, I think it offers a lot. I really do like this update. The new museum, 10 out of 10, hands down. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I don't really have any problems with the museum at all. It's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. It's actually rather easy, like maybe even easier than the, than the old one. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I want to hear your, your opinions on this. The new prizes are awesome. I mean, I have no problems with them either. The, ra the radiant ice color, actually, scratch that radioactive yellow. This actually might be my favorite. It's just something about the shade of blue and the dino bone um, for the new, new soccer ball reward is pretty cool. It's been a little bit since we got one of those, but overall, I'm going to give this update a 9.5 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it's great as it offers. It's definitely one of the best updates we've had for quite a while. Obviously not the best update, but anyways, talk to you guys later.